Now we're moving into a new area. We've looked at integers, we've looked at strings, we've looked at variables. Here we're looking at something called an array. An array is this declaration here. Notice that I've said string name just the same as we've declared uh, any other variable, but this variable has something weird. It's got something in brackets. And basically that's telling string name um, that it's got four areas to store data into. That string name, uh, unlike normal variables which I can store one piece of data and is um, is lost if you try to store more data in there. So int count, if I store a value in int count, if I store one in there and I tell it to store two in int count, the one is lost. But here I can actually store up to four different elements in this array. So it's an array. Think of it as a series of four boxes, one on top of the other. That's not a great analogy because that causes confusion later on, but it works initially. So string name, it has a pointer directing towards string name, number, box number one, box number two, and so on. For int count, now I've got the loop here. Here's our loop for next, and I've got actually two loops here. This one takes a name in. So for int count, takes a name, and then stores that name in string name. Here it's simply outputting the name. Probably easier to see than anything else. Enter user one's name. Notice how I've used the int count as part of the string. Let's enter in Helen. Now I've got enter user two's name. So let's enter Stephen. Enter user three's name. So we'll enter James and enter user four's name and let's go for Richard. If I press enter, all four names are shown. This then counts through and shows us the four names that are stored. They've not been lost. Helen wasn't lost when I typed Stephen in. Stephen wasn't lost when I typed James. It's kept all four of them. That's quite neat. Let's have a look at another trick we could do here. Let's leave that, but let's get rid of this four count. Oops, don't delete the console because we need that. And let's get rid of the next because we don't need that. What I'm going to do instead here is I'm going to choose here, I'm going to say console write. Please enter a user number. And here I'm going to say int count is equal to console dot read line, and that's it. And what that's going to do is it's going to put this up, it's going to read a line, store it into int count. As long as I choose a value between 1 and 4, it should give me that name. Let's see how that works. So, Helen, Stephen. James and Richard. Please enter a user number. So unlike last time where it showed me all the names, I can choose a number. Let's choose three. What comes up? James. So it's a way of selecting from a list. So I can now use this array as a list. A bit like a small database. That's an array. Quite simple, quite neat.